I woke up this morning and what you shouldn't do, but what I did was I grabbed my phone. That was the first thing I did this morning and was scrolling through my socials. You, you shouldn't do that. It's, it's not healthy. But I scrolled through my YouTube feed and I found a video from Metallica. Oh, yeah. And they played an award show, an award show for Elton John. I'm not so sure about this. If you have any more details about this show, uh, let me know. Um, so it was about Elton John. The whole evening was about Elton John. I think Annie Lennox played as well. And I was watching on my phone and I saw the thumbnail of James Hetfield, but I saw the song names like Funeral for a Friend and Love Lies Bleeding. And, and I was like, these are Elton John songs. And apparently I'm a huge Metallica fan. Oh yeah! But... I'm also a huge Elton John fan. This guy is more rock and roll than you might think. He snorted half of Peru. And he, I'm pretty sure that he could drink more than Let Me Kill Mister. Huh? This, my friends, is the most amazing Metallica content I have seen for 10 years or even more. This is, this is so exciting. Wow. Um, should we dive right in? Let's dive right in. Okay, here we go. This is, uh, except. No, 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 this is, th this is Ted Nugent. Nah, okay, it, it's not, it's not, I'm sorry. Let's, let's go ahead. Guys, do you know the cover version of Dream Theater? I think it's on the record, A Change of Seasons. If you know the version, let me know in the comments. Or let, or let me also know which version you prefer. But watch the video till the very end first. That makes sense, right? If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. What's going on there? Is that what he's playing? Just let me go back. Yeah, clap your hands. Even even Elton is clapping his hands. Dude, is that a great riff? This is so Metallica. This is so freaking Metallica. Okay. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Right. 
So, James, side, yeah! You know what? Did you notice that? Kirk wasn't using his wall for this passage. He could have easily used the wall pedal. Wow, 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 wow. It would have fitted even there. Kirk, next time, more wall pedal, please. <laughs> Such a great vocal performance. All the videos I've seen lately from James, it's incredible. This guy, he, <laughs> I mean, he had his vocal issues in, in the mid 90s. No, not even the mid 90s. It was like the late 90s, 98, 99, even early 2000s. He, he sounded like a drunk sailor sometimes, but recently, man, this guy is killing it. I'm happy that, that James is, he is in a phenomenal condition. That's amazing. Lars is drumming great. Everything is awesome here. The sound is great, isn't it? I mean, awesome. You. <laughs> I love how he's singing the vowels. He's like, you, you, like very dark, right? Very close, you, almost German. <laughs> And because James is a baritone, he can play with his vowels. He's really unique with forming his vowels. He makes them very dark sometimes and sometimes very, very bright. And this only works because he is a baritone. This is a pretty dark voice. When you hear him talk, like he's like, right? So if he goes up like, na na na, if I will do it as a tenor, you would go like, dude, that sounds horrible, but he, 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 he gets away with it. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so cool when he's doing that. Did you see? <laughs> Did you see Alton's face? He has no idea what's going on there. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Did you see his smile? It makes me so happy to see him smile, man. He is in such great condition lately. I remember the days SM2, he looked horrible and that was short before he went to rehab, I think again, but uh, dude, I could, I could literally tell from his eyes, from his body, his body language, everything was screaming alcohol again. That I'm so happy that he's back on track. I think I have never heard James 
playing this kind of effect. Uh, sorry. So what is he playing? Is it all major triads? I think it's all major triads. No, it's not. It's an A major triad. And this looks... I have no idea what that is. And sorry for my out of tune guitar. I'm not going to tune it right now. So A, something I have no idea what it is. Is it C? Yeah, makes sense. It's C, C. It's a C9, I guess. We have the D in there. And then we have G. And we have F. All right. Ah, oh, let me tune the guitar. You don't, you deserve a two guitar. And of course, we have the war going on. <laughs> I love you, Kirk. Okay, what was that? Okay, what was that? I'm sorry, we have to go back to the solo section. What was that? <laughs> Okay, so that seems to be some kind of jazz approach I have no clue about. Um, so where, where is he? It's fret 9? No, fret 10. Oh, I know what he's doing. Is he playing in D? He's playing a D. He's playing in D over A. Okay, Kirk. Interesting. I know why he did that. Because there's a G. Okay, okay, okay. But you were there. You were there at the wrong time, Kirk. Sorry. <laughs> like ah, Kirky, come on. Kirky, baby. And this, this, how do you call it? This, this swing? Yeah! Typical James Hetfield, I love it. Oh, yeah! Yeah! No. <laughs> I like the way he's, he's doing this, his open throw technique. It's like, ah! Like beating in my hands, something like this. Ah, you can like ah, he's he's going for it. I like it. I mean, I'm a tenor. I have no problems singing in this kind of area. But for a baritone, that's already quite high. Okay, don't forget that. This is also something that Metallica likes to do, and I appreciate that very much. They they always have, when they cover, um, they, they always have this party ending. That's what I like to call it. Like, they, they are jamming out there. I mean, of course, they're not improvising, but they're, they're jamming there. This, this, this kind of jamming vibe. Does, the, the, does it make sense? Well, I, I have no idea what I'm talking, to be honest. Yeah. 
a typical Lars Ulrich move. Love it. That's actually Fade to Black. Ah, sorry, it's in, it's in the wrong key, but it will be... It's the same drumming part. Ah, uh, they, they're doing this chromatic thing again. And it goes up to an A, okay? Check out El Noah! <laughs> Oh, sorry. Okay, there's no better word to end this video than amazing. I hope you had as much fun as I had. That was amazing. <laughs> Drink a shot every time I say amazing in this video. Okay, uh, see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.